Welcome to Sacred Space at Home, a resource from Vineyard Church of New Orleans. We're so glad you've decided to join us in this time of worship and reflection. Today we will meditate on Acts chapter 20. Wherever you may find yourself in this moment, try and make space to listen and experience the presence of God as we pray, hear the words of scripture, and sing together. As we begin, we open our minds and hearts and say, Come, Holy Spirit. This flower in the sun reaches out to light. Spread in every arm, soaking in new light, breathing free again, opening the cell to the source of love to turn us to be here. It's not the pattern that I'm leaving. The cycle of the rules is the object of the turning that is able to renew. It's the path of all creation, turning out restores within. Jesus, help me in this moment now to turn to you again. His body. reading from the book of Acts. When they arrived, he declared, You know that from the day I set foot in the province of Asia until now, I have done the Lord's work humbly and with many tears. I have endured the trials that came to me from the plots of the Jews. I never shrank back from telling you what you needed to hear, either publicly or in your homes. I have had one message for Jews and Greeks alike, the necessity of repenting from sin and turning to God, 
and of having faith in our Lord Jesus. And now I am bound by the Spirit to go to Jerusalem. I don't know what awaits me, except that the Holy Spirit tells me in city after city that jail and suffering lie ahead. But my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus, the work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As you reflect on this passage, what comes to mind? Notice what thoughts or emotions may arise in you. Paul's commitment to the work of sharing the good news involved a willingness to endure hardship, pain, rejection, and ultimately death so that others may experience the wonderful grace of God revealed in Jesus. How might you display similar resolve as you do the work of sharing the good news today? As a messenger of the good news, we must always participate in the act of self-examination. It is through this practice that we can identify areas in our lives that require repentance. Take a moment to reflect and consider what it might look like for you to repent and turn to God. As you reflect on this invitation, take this time to ask God to give you the courage to repent and turn to God so that you may live and proclaim the good news today. It's not the pattern that I'm leaving, not the cycle or the rule. It's the object of a 
As we conclude our time together, may you continue to be aware of the presence of God and seek to find sacred spaces throughout the day. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.